clip-ons are items that will kind of clip on to the borders of grid tiles. This can be things like crenellations, which we're going to be making in this video, or like a railing or a half-height wall. Basically anything you think of that you want to have attached to the border of a grid tile, you can make with clip-ons. So let's get started. We'll start by tracing on the crenellations template to a piece of pre-textured foam board. And then just cut out the, uh, the voids. And you'll notice that there are these black horizontal lines on the template. That denotes where the three separate components of the crenellation are to be cut out from each other. So just mark your foam and then cut out those three different components. Now we're going to want to take a piece of cardboard and find the grain. We want the grain to go perpendicular to the crenellation itself. And we want that piece of cardboard to be about an inch narrower or half inch on each side of the crenellation itself. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Just about a half inch on each side should be uh, cardboard free. Then put a little bead of hot glue. And we're going to glue on that first piece with the texture facing down on the, on the work surface. And the same thing with the second piece, uh, like we're doing here. And we're using our work surface to align the edge of the cardboard to the edge of those two foam pieces. And then we're gonna put the final exterior piece on. And we'll use our work surface to set the top of that. So the two tops, the tops of the crenellations are down towards the work surface. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to use two sheets of foam board to glue on a third sheet of foam board in the correct position to make the connector for the, uh, the clip on crenellation here. So we're going to put glue on just that last piece here. It's a little thin bead of glue. And then we're going to stack those two other sheets of foam board on top of it as spacers. And then we're going to put that entire bundle onto the cardboard with those two spacers right up against the back of the crenellation. Just like that. Now, if you haven't already made one of these, we're going to make a single sheet depth cutter. And that's just made from a strip of foam board with a utility knife blade hot glued on top. So you put the blade down first and then the hot glue on top of the blade to make sure that the blade itself is laying right on the foam board. And then we're going to lay the crenellation on top of something to raise it up off the work surface so the cardboard lays flat when we use the depth cutter to cut off the excess part of that uh, back part of the crenellation because we want that little piece of foam strip there to only be the height of one sheet of foam board so we use our single sheet depth cutter to do that and then we're going to cut off the pieces of the crenellation that we don't need so the back of the cardboard and the two pieces of that foam board strip that are hanging off the edges i will just do a little test fit to see how, how it looks so these crenellations and clip-ons in general, they clip on to the borders from modular grid tiles and also the borders on floor grid tiles. So you see here, to make crenellations of different widths, you just cut them in between those arrow slits there, the arrow slits and the crenellations. You're just gonna cut in the middle of those to make crenellations that are one, two, three, or four grid squares wide. And you can notice on the back of these, all the, the connector part itself, the cardboard and the strip, is about a half inch from the sides. But as you get down to the one square wide uh, crenellation, you can no you'll notice it's, it's about maybe more like a quarter of an inch, and that's, that's fine too. 
And the procedure is very similar to do the railing clip-ons, because all the clip-ons are essentially made the same way. Uh, this one just has some slightly different looking pieces, but you'll notice it still has the horizontal lines that denote the three different components we'll need. And uh, yeah, you just got to cut out some voids. And we're going to use some texturing techniques. Uh, these may be new to you if you do not have the Traino Taverns and Towns construction manual. But we're going to use uh, a sharp pencil to make some wood grain and uh, to draw in seams for the different wood beams that make up the railings. But we're going to start off by cutting out all the voids. And you'll notice here I'm making multiple clip-on railings all at once on one long sh sheet of foam board. And I'm doing that because since I have to texture this with a wood grain texture, instead of doing the wood grain individually for each clip-on railing, I'm doing a whole strip of them all at once. So here you'll see I'm drawing in the seams between wood beams on multiple ones at the same time. Now if you want to look at the final version of this, you can check it out in the Trano Castles and Catacombs manual. Uh, there is a whole written instruction for this with images of the, the final texturing. But you'll see here I'm just drawing in the seams for the different wood beams. And you don't have to necessarily use my design, you can make your own. And once I've gotten all the wood beams drawn in, it's time to do the wood grain texture. And the wood grain texture is really, really simple. You just draw little squiggly long lines along the beams of wood. So here I'm doing the long horizontal pieces. And it's nice because here, look, I can do multiple clip-on railings all in one fell swoop because they're all connected. And then here I'm doing the vertical wood grain on the vertical beams. And then it's time to cut out the individual components. So first we're gonna cut out the railings themselves. So here I'm gonna cut out a four square wide railing. So we'll have that as all the components for that one four square wide railing. Now to cut out railings of different widths, you'll notice there's these dashed lines on the template itself. And you get to just mark that to make different railings of different widths. So here I'm gonna make a two square wide railing. So when we go to make the actual crenellations after we cut them out to their widths, we need to cut out the three separate components. And it's the same as with the clip-on crenellations, there's those two horizontal lines. Now you want to be real careful with these when you're, you're cutting them because there's a lot less foam on these than on the clip-on crenellations. So just be careful when you cut them apart, especially on this last one because there's not a lot of foam holding all those little triangular bits together. The best way is always to do gentle, shallow cuts until you're all the way through. And of course, use a sharp blade. Once you have your three components, we're gonna use our work surface again to line up the piece of cardboard that we're going to glue to these three components. And just remember to turn over so the textures are in the right direction. You wanna have the wood texture facing out on the front and the back. We'll take our piece of cardboard with the wood grain perpendicular to the railing and we'll use our work surface to set that in place. And then we'll glue on the bottom piece. And we'll use our work surface to line that up. And then we'll put down the last component on the front of the railing. And we'll use the work surface to line that up as well. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use a couple of sheets of foam board as spacers to uh, glue in place that strip of uh, foam board on the back of the clip-on. And once that's dry, we'll lay it on top of something to make sure that the cardboard is laying flat. And then we'll use our depth cutter to cut that strip to its correct height. 
and then just trim off the bits we don't need. And then just give it a test fit. Here I'm test fitting it on the modular grid borders. It also works on regular floor tiles too, that the border on those uh, will fit this as well. That's really it for clip-ons. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Terreno journey by downloading the Terreno construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14-day hassle-free money-back guarantee. That means if Terreno's not for you, no problem, you'll get your money back, no questions asked. Happy crafting.